Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Let's Play. I'm Bud Gaines, also known as Rankless Warrior, and today we're going to continue our item collection from, well, the previous episode. So this part two of two. Don't worry, we're just about done, and I'm just about tired of recording item collection at this point in time. But uh, yeah, after this we need to head back to the village of Outcast. Why I didn't do that while I was there, I do not know. I guess I just forgot about it. So let's see if I can get over there. I'm recording this at 2.47 a.m., so if I sound a little tired compared to the other video, which sound, probably sounds worse in my opinion, that's why. But I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm going to suck either way, so let's just get this over with. Go in here and talk to this fortune teller and see what he says. He looks more like an executioner than a fortune teller, if you ask me. All I'm missing is that big old axe, and he would look like uh, the guy from Soul Calibur, whatever his name is. The big, heavy guy that carries the big axe. He looks like an executioner. But at least he refills our hearts, where the other guy just takes our health away. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this over with. Alright. Gonna run all down here and go in here can't do nothing here but we can switch over to the light world to continue in here where we do this we pop out a hammer and pop in the stake and we jump on down all right while we're going down there get your magic powder out or once we get in there get your magic powder out because you're gonna need it I don't think it tells you to get it out. It might. I don't think it does. No. Just sprinkle some on there and see this bat creature pop out. He, I don't know, he might be a vire. I'm not sure. But he's getting his revenge on us. Are you ready? Oh, wait, is that okay? I'm not sure. He's so evil, isn't he? It's okay, at first I thought it was a bad thing, and then I realized that he cut my magic in half. Instead of doing me damage, he cut the usage in half, not cut the powder we had in half. So, I usually avoided it, and I was like, wait a minute, he, that's stupid. But yeah, what else can I do there? It's, I'm just slow sometimes. Get that out. Alright, while we're here... I guess while we're here... Or, not while we're here, but... I guess I could have gotten fairies. Yeah, let me look at that, see if I have any I have. Nope, I have three, never mind. We can continue on. You can get magic powder, but it's okay with me. I can just die once doing what I'm about to do. So I'm not too worried about it, if you can tell. What do I need? I'll just keep the magic mirror out. Alright, so once you get up to Death Mountain, you're going to want to come over here. Dodge all these giant boulders flying at you, which I'm doing such a piss poor job of. Well, I've only been hit by one. That's still pretty piss poor, but whatever. Let's continue up here. All the way up this. And you're going to want to get back to that portal area. Or the portal that's up here. Either kill the techites or leave them alone. Whichever you want to do. There's a treasure chest game in Kakariko Village you can do and get another heart piece, but it's all based on opening treasure chests. It's luck, so it can take a minute. Just a heads up on that. All right, so once you're over here, hop your ass down here, which I guess you could have done before if you had the mallet, but now that we have the mallet, we can just bust up in here and lower these things down. So I can either go over there by this and hope I get there in time, which I think I should be able to before I die. There's going to be a boulder or a block at the end you'll have to move, but I think I have the time to lift it up before losing the rest of my magic. And that's why you want to bring green potion. So if you're playing this and you hear me, get you a green potion before running in here. 
I'm just not worried about because I have three fairies and I'll get brought back to life anyway. So, as you can tell, I'm not exactly the worry type. But I can make it almost there on this many hearts. And now I'll just use what magic powder I have left to make it more, which wasn't a lot. But, like I said, I have a couple fairies left and I'm not too worried about it. So go ahead and sprinkle your fairy dust on me and make me levitate for a minute before bringing me back to life and letting me cross this hole. I wonder whose idea it was to come up with a room full of spikes in the first place. Okay, while I'm in here, the magic cape makes you invisible. The cane of... Birna, I guess, makes you invincible, but instead of changing you to be invisible to walk over things or not get hit by things. It puts a, a ring of light around you to protect you. It's like having a bee, I guess. But that's what that does. I don't use it too much. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else up here we can do. So I guess I should have gone back to you know I should have stayed in Kakariko Village and did what I had to do there. Take me away, bird. Take me away. Alright. Which is number three and why I just didn't go down. Or to the right, I don't know. I'm special. I'm enjoying doing this, though. Maybe y'all are getting something out of this that I'm not knowing about? I have no idea. But, closest portal is back through here. Well, I'm going to attract a bunch of guards to me and get them out of the way. It's not really what I intended to do. Haha. -ha. Come and get to me, copper. You'll never take me alive! Alright. Now that we're out of there, say screw this guy, go this way. We don't need him anyway. But as many times as we've been over here, we do need our magical mallet. Our magic hammer. Magical mallet. I think that's a Final Fantasy term. Hell, it might be a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I don't remember. I don't play that anyway, so... It's just... I have a friend that does, so maybe it is. Maybe he knows. If it is, it's pure coincidence that I don't know the name of my own hammer. And it is a magic hammer, so... Apparently I ran into that tree. And if you see these trees with eyes, they spit bombs out. And I think this one tells you to leave them alone. Alright, back down here. We'll go into the treasure chest. Game. And you can watch me fuck up a few times. I'm probably off key. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's 30 rupees to play. Sure, we'll play. Uh... I got my money back. And an arrow. Okay, so that's one. Let's hope I can get this quickly and not keep y'all waiting. And it's random, so whatever I get is not gonna be the same one you get. I'm just gonna go for the same chest and hope it's in it. I got 100 rupees. 200 rupees. So at least I've made my money back so far. I might have to do this off screen. I don't know. <laughs> Three. One more time, and I'm just going to finish it off screen. Oh, whoops. And yes, I go for the same chest, because this could be random anyway. Why not? Okay, well, I guess I'll just do this off screen, and... I don't worry about it too much. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, well I finally got it. Got a piece of heart. Which is definitely what we were looking for. After a couple of more guesses after that. But there we go. 
All right, now that we've got that, we can continue what we were doing. Whatever that was. All right, so now we must go and watch me get lost again. I hope not. I shouldn't get lost. Just a warning, though. I might. This item collection is going a lot faster than my other one. I know where I'm going at the moment. Alright. So let's see. Go up here. If you want a heads up, we're going to find the Lumberjacks. So, that's where I'm headed to. It's a little bit up, but... We'll find it. I'll give a piece of, a piece of heart to the person who wears the cape. I think now you can go in there and get that. Is it that it's talking about? It's talking about Rock's Cave. I'm not sure at the moment. While we're over here, let me check out this house. I'm not sure what's in here. It's a shop. That's what's in there. A shop. Why do so many shop houses turn into shops? I don't know. Alright. Use your mirror here and go in the light world. Bad placement. Bad placement. Damn it. Bad, bad placement. Scoot over. Now use it again. Alright. Now you're gonna wanna run into this tree, so. Bust up that bitch. Follow in the hole. You hear that sound? There's fairies nearby. There they are. Get the fairies. Not with the cane. With the bug catching it. Thank you. And you can keep it in a bottle. That replaces the one that I lost. That replaces the hearts that I lost. Alright. Now I'll bust up in here and grab that. And now we have another heart piece. Alright. So, we've got how many hearts now? Is that 12? Doing pretty good so far, right? Four dungeons defeated. I guess technically five. You want to count Hyrule Castle twice, so six. So yeah, here we go. We've got 12 heart pieces. But you'll probably need them coming up. Alright, so now we're gonna. I guess. Oh, I can't use the cape right now anyway, if it's that one it's talking about. Because I don't have any magic power. Which sucks. Alright, so where is. There it is. Time to work. Take me away, birdie. Take me away. And where are we going? We'll go here. So I can get to Dark World easier without using a portal somewhere way out of the way. I'll just use the, the big one. The connection point. Hyrule Castle game. Bust out my mallet. Run over here. Kick some mass on the way. Get my ass kicked along the way. Avoid some dickheads along the way. Like these guys who want to be dicks and try to kill me. But they can back the fuck up because I ain't got time for their bitch asses. Link is back in Dark World. That's, that's back with a capital B and an exclamation part. Mark. Mark. Alright, so. Instead of walking all the way down there, I'm just gonna hop in here. There'll be a ring of. Rocks. I was trying to dodge that and think of my word. A ring of rocks. And you just flip up over here. And another heart piece. Alright, so item flex is going pretty well right now, what'd you say? Uh, alright, so where to next? I guess we can go to the desert and get another medallion, but I don't want to kill this guy so he can't kill me anymore. Uh. Okay. Screw this. Get the fuck out of my way, guy. That's a dungeon, by the way. That's, uh, the Ice Palace, I believe. <clears throat> Which is dungeon 5. 
for the crystal, I think. And I believe we are at the Pond of Happiness, aren't we? Yes, we are. If you have those 600 rupees that you got from the Village of Outcasts in the last episode, now's a good time to use them since we're close by. And I've already done some of my upgrading, so maybe I can get some more upgrades quickly. Well, not quickly. You know how long this takes. And I've got almost a thousand rupees to go through, so... For your reference today, you will have a little luck. Always fast forward, I guess. Nah. Let's just leave it alone. I'll let you watch. I get to be bored with it, you can be bored with it too. Bombs go up to 50, arrows go up to 70. So, that's just a warning there. Now you have to wait again. I believe the last one you get will drive you up to 10 instead of being 5 upgrade only. Or 5 arrow upgrade only. I think it puts you up to 10 on your last one. Have great luck. I wish there was like a like, something Link can do that'll waste a few seconds of his life besides walking back and forth. And killing people. Or monsters. Whatever. I want to carry more arrows. 60 at maximum. This is just a small happiness I can give you. A small bit of happiness I can give you. The, peop the people playing this game cannot read, just so you know. He's a college student, but he still can't read properly. Yeah, I know. I sound stupid. <clears throat> In total, your happiness is 50. You became happier by one step, but I didn't take any steps. Great luck. Yay! <laughs> wow, that hurt my throat to do. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to speak more clearly because my voice recognition on my computer, speech recognition, can't understand me. Yes, there's the last one, which is 10. Alright, so now all those bombs, all those bombs, all those rupees can go to bombs, which I don't want to do just yet, because I want to make sure I have all of them. It's just five, so maybe I can get five rupees quickly up over here. Or seven rupees quickly. I know, but that, I could use that too, which just refilled my entire magic meter. And we still can't kill him, so. What can I use to kill him? Can I freeze him? Yes, I can. Okay, that's two. Five more to go! Five more to go! It's gonna take forever this way. More magic. Yeah, I know. This could take a minute. Just, just give me a second. I'll, I'll get it all so I can do this all at once. At least it was a heart. I'm trying not to leave this area, so I'll come, have to come right back in here. I would drop more than one rupee at a time. Oh, now you drop the magic powder? Oh my god. Really? You gonna make me do this one at a time? Give me rupees! I need rupees. Hey, I froze you a minute ago. Yay, 700! Alright, now I have 700 rupees. Throw a few. I meant throw 50 in. Alright. I'm not done with item collection yet, so you're going to have to stick around for a minute. Or I can just... Yeah, I'll just cut all this out so you don't have to watch me get the bombs. 
it's the same thing. So I'll show you getting the last 51, and that'll be that'll be enough, right? All right. So I'll do all this off screen, and y'all don't have to watch me drop rupees in 50 at a time. All right. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright, now we're back here, and we wish to carry more bombs. Carrying abilities 50, so you can carry 50 at maximum. Just a small bit of happiness you can give us. And there's 50, which is the max number of bombs you can carry. At least, I think it is for now. It might be it completely, but that's 50 bombs and 70 arrows. Which is a lot, and it probably will come in handy later on. And do I have all the fairies I need while I'm standing here? Yes, I do. Alright, so we'll just head on out of here and continue on to where we were going next, which is somewhere. I need... Well, nothing particular. I think if you come back here, she just tells you that you... that she cannot make you happy anymore or whatever. Something like that. All y'all can die. Fuck you, get the fuck out of my way, man. I don't know where I'm going. Toward the desert, I think. I don't know. I think I went, yeah, I think I went the wrong direction. We'll find out. If I get to where I'm looking for. I think this was the right one. Either, but we'll find out. Yeah, this is the right way. This is back over here. Okay, let's continue on out of here then. lost again. We'll find out where I'm going in a minute, I guess. I'll just cut out all of this walking around.
least you can enjoy the music while I do this. Because I wasn't talking too much. You just will be able to hear the music for a while, I guess. I don't know why I'm so lost. Every time I get in this water, I get lost. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just... I'm, maybe I'm just weird. Yeah, that, that's not the way either, I don't think. Although it's possible. Uh, actually, I think it might be... I think this is where I needed to be. Wow. It really wasn't as that far, was it? this one particular item, I guess. Maybe it's just not worth it. It should be, I think it's worth it. What's the sign say? Swamp of Evil. No entrance. Swamp of Evil. That's, that's where, uh, you know, the... What is it? Uh, the Legion of Doom, isn't it? I think this is where I wanted to be. Yeah, that's that's where I wanted to be, I believe. Yep, there we go. Yeah, sorry for getting lost so many times. I don't know what is wrong with me today. And I died twice. That's not good for me. Watch a book. Talk to this. With the book. Hold up your sword, and you will get Bombos. Which is a giant bomb across the screen. Oh yeah, there you go. But I will stop it here before I embarrass myself any further. And next time we will start the next dungeon, once we head back to the place I get lost a lot. The water. I am Bud Games, also known as Rankless Warrior. Thank you for watching, and next time I won't get as confused as easily, hopefully. I'll see y'all next video. Peace out, everyone.